welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a fantabulous Sunday. So today I want to give you guys another fall video and you guessed it, it's all about Hallmark movies today. I want to tell you guys my 10 favorite movies on Hallmark for the fall season. And some of these movies are mixed up between last year and previous years. But I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys 10 of them. Now I believe two of them are not Hallmark, um, but I just mixed it in there because you guys know I love Hallmark, especially around this time. So why don't you guys go ahead, grab your coffee, your hot chocolate, something to sip on, and we'll go ahead and get into the video. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do so. It is always free, you never have to pay anything, and I would love for you to become a part of our YouTube family here. Also, I would love for you to hit that bell so that you will be notified of whenever I do upload videos, you will get them in your feed. Okay, so my favorite fall Hallmark movies. I have them on my phone because, you know, writing them down is just a waste of time. Um, okay, so Autumn in the Vineyard. I don't know if you guys have seen this movie, but it is such a sweet movie. Okay, so Autumn in the Vineyard. It's about this girl, or couple rather, but um, this young girl, she and her dad, they have a vineyard, but it's her father's vineyard. And, um, you know, she grew up there, her and her brother, and she helps her dad to basically um, grow grapes and make wine. And so their vineyard has, like, won many contests over the years, and um, they're sort of they sort of have like a rivalry between this other family that has a vineyard and it turned out that with um, her and the son of this other family, they used to go together so to speak. They were high school sweethearts and I guess it just never worked out because they went their, both went their separate ways. Anyway, her dad decided that he wanted to get somebody in um, into the family or into the family business to kind of help with the business aspect of it because she didn't go to business school. But for some reason, they won every single year because of how she would cultivate the grapes and how the wine would just taste amazing. So they went to this, you know, the wine contest and everything, and it turned out that she they won again. And the son was there, he came back from, from Italy and from abroad and everything like that and their family is extremely wealthy. And so he came back and you know they were at the contest and something was happening and he kissed her. So she got mad about that and whatever, whatever. But it actually turned out that her dad hired someone to take over the business aspect of the vineyard. and she kind of felt some type of way because he didn't tell her first. He kind of just hired somebody to come in and she kind of felt like, well, I'm an outsider. Why would you do that to me? So eventually she was just like, I'm just going to step out on my own and I'm going to buy my own vineyard. So she did that, but it turned out that the son of the rival family purchased the same vineyard because the owners were actually divorced and they both owned it. So he purchased it from the husband and she purchased it from the wife. And so now they both have to live in this vineyard that they both purchased um, until they can get the, the lawsuit, whatever, taken care of. But it turned out that they actually started to rekindle their relationship. And so a long story short, they bought the vineyard together and they fell in love all over again. And it was just such a beautiful story. And I just always love that movie. I've, I've watched it a million times. I'm a sucker for romance. And so I just, I love it. It's, it's such a cute movie. Okay. So my next is Pumpkin Pie Wars. So Pumpkin Pie Wars is about this, again, two, couple, two families. They really weren't rivals. Um, they were actually the moms. They were actually best friends, like really, really good friends. And it turned out that one of the lady, her dad, wanted to start a restaurant and asked her to come on board. Now, it was more like a bakery, um, but she didn't bake. Her friend actually is the baker and um, taught her everything that she knew. And when her dad basically asked if she can, you know, take over the bakery or whatever, she accepted. 
Um, and so her friend was kind of like jealous about it and it started like this rivalry and you know competition between the both of them and again it was a festival <laughs> so they um they had to like join this not join but sign up for the festival to see who would win the bake-off and it turned out that one of the mom she broke her leg in the back of her bakery and the doctor took her out so she had to stay out um and so her daughter you know was just like i'll i'll do i'll do the contest i'll do the bake-off and her best friend, her used to be best friend, now her son, um, signed on to do the same thing. So now the, both the kids, the daughter and the son, they both now have to come together and try to win this thing individually. But they actually started falling in love. They actually started to fall in love. But they did not let their parents know that they were working together to help the, the daughter to bake because she knew nothing about baking she basically was just like the business aspect of it so she didn't know anything about baking and it turned out that they fell in love and they started a bakery together as a family and kind of ended that um war or you know the pumpkin pie war they kind of ended that that um rivalry and it, it turned out that they fell in love and they owned the bakery and they all was just happy about it. So that was, I thought that was a pretty cool movie as well. I actually did enjoy um, that movie. My third movie is Autumn Dreams. Again, it's, it's, it's probably like the same storyline, just different people. You know, Hallmark is pretty predictable, but um, Autumn Dreams, it's this young couple they basically were kids they fell in love with each other um she basically was working on her father's farm and so was the guy he was also working on the father's farm but they were kind of like fooling around the father didn't know they fell in love they got married as soon as she turned 18 and the father was just not having it so once he found out what they did they got married and everything like that he came to like the bar where they had just you know had their little dance and stuff and he was just like no 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 it's not going down like you have college ahead of you you have your whole life ahead of you you're too young to get married this is not going down so basically fast forward the, the guy he actually got an interview in new york and he, the father wanted her to stay back and follow you know basically do what he does on the farm take the farm over um and she really didn't want to do that she wanted to get married to this guy because that was like her her love you know her first love so fast forward years 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 later the guy moved to New York and everything like that so she was about to get married to the other friend that was working on the farm and she really didn't love him like that but she was kind of like hey you know this is this is what it is um, so she received a letter while working on the farm stating that she has to get a divorce so she was just like, wait a minute, I thought my dad, you know, did all the annulment and everything like that. So now she has to fly to New York to go get this divorce before she got married. So it turned out that the, 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 the best, the guy that she fell in love with, they have to now um, get this divorce because now he was engaged to be married as well. And so when she got to New York, she met him and he turned out to be this big time lawyer making millions of dollars and you know just really like high class high profile type of lawyer and so she was just like wow you know your life kind of turned out the way that you wanted and you know she was kind of upset with him because she's just like why didn't you come back for me or whatever and he was like i did come back for you but you never came and She's just like, well, my dad had a heart attack. And, you know, they kind of was trying to get out all the wrinkles of their relationships as to why it didn't happen. And so, to make a long story short, it turned out that they literally could not get the divorce because <laughs> the judge was not allowing them to get the divorce because she could see that they both, both of them actually really still did love each other. So, it turned out that they did not get the divorce and he went back to her state she broke off the engagement with the other guy and he went back for her he broke off the engagement and they fell in love and was happily ever after 
So the fourth movie is not a Hallmark movie, but it is one of my favorite all-time fall movies. I don't even know if it's a fall movie, but every time I think of this movie, I do think of fall. It is absolutely beautiful. I love it. And it is You've Got Mail with Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. I love Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan in movies together. I don't know why. I just feel like they have such a chemistry together and it's, it's absolutely beautiful. But I love this movie, You've Got Mail. I'm not even going to explain You've Got Mail to you because I, I think you guys know about that movie. But that is one of my favorite fall movies. And I actually think right after this, I'm going to grab some hot tea and kick my feet up on the couch and watch You've Got Mail. So I just love that movie. Another favorite of mine is Sleepless in Seattle. I know it's more of a Christmas time setting, but I just love Sleepless in Seattle. I think it's timeless. I think the storyline is timeless. And it's just, it, it's, it's the setting, the, the story is, is such a remarkable, inspiring, romantic film of all time, I feel. I feel like it transcends generations. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really, really love this movie, Sleepless in Seattle, because it's unexpected and it's not predictable. So, I think that's why I really love it. It's not a predictable movie. Um, and that's another Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan film. And you guys know that. I don't think I have to even explain to you about that. I think you guys pro probably know about that movie. Another favorite movie of mine is Runaway Bride, and that's with Julia Roberts and Richard Gere. Oh my goodness. Those two are another couple, I should say, um, or individuals that I think have such great chemistry together. I don't know why they're not married to each other, but <laughs> nevertheless, they have such great chemistry on camera. And this movie was such a beautiful movie. And it really was like a fall setting, especially at the end when they got married and you know, was on the horse and everything. It was so romantic. And I think every woman was just like, oh my gosh, I would like to have a wedding like that. Just something simple and beautiful and just, you know, really romantic and personal. It was straight up one of my favorite movies. I'm not going to explain that to you either um, because you guys probably already have watched that movie so many times. But um, it just was a beautiful movie. Like, she couldn't get married to anybody. She was engaged so many different times and just could not walk down the aisle. I don't know why, but for some reason, she got married to Richard Gere in the way that she's always wanted to. So this, it was just a beautiful story. If you have not seen that movie, go ahead and see it, it's beautiful. The seventh movie is October Kiss. This was such a great storyline and it was basically about a woman that she wasn't married or anything like that. She kind of was like at a loss for life. She was just like, I, I, I keep getting it wrong, basically. I can't find a man. I can't keep a job. <laughs> I just, I can't get it right. So she basically um, started working for this guy um, as a nanny for his children. He was a workaholic. And so his kids was always missing him because he was never home. His wife passed away and they could never keep a nanny because the kids was just like, you know, doing pranks and all this stuff and just could not keep a nanny. But eventually this girl started working um, for him as the kid's nanny and they fell in love with her and she fell in love with them. Um, but because he was working so much, he was missing out on so much of their lives and he didn't really realize that he was miss missing out on so much because he's just like, I just thought providing for my kids was enough. Um, but she kind of changed his mind about everything and it, basically what happened is they fell in love and um, the kids grew to love her she loved to love she grew to love the kids and they fell in love together so it just it was such a beautiful storyline and I absolutely absolutely love it um, the eighth one is truly madly sweetly the ninth one is all of my heart and the tenth one is all of my heart in love so let me go to All of My Heart. All of My Heart, y'all know, is with Lacey Chabert. Hello, I cannot turn down a movie that has Lacey Chabert in it. I love her. 
She is such a great actress. Oh my goodness. I've been watching Lacey Chabert since Party of Five. Y'all remember that? <laughs> Party of Five? That was like way back in the 90s. My phone died. Um, that was like way back in the 90s. But basically, um, all of my heart was based on um, the fact that she was like a city girl. She worked in a restaurant. She loved to cook. She wanted to own her own, you know, restaurant someday. And it turned out that her grandmother um, died. I believe it was her grandmother or her aunt died and left her like this big, beautiful house um, in the country. And she basically went to the lawyer's office and there was this other guy that was at the lawyer's office. And it turned out that the grandmother fell in love with this guy who was the guy's father or uncle or something like that and it turned out that she left him half the house and left her half the house as well so now they they both exist in this house he was like a big time um accountant on wall street and it turned out that he really didn't want to own the house he wanted to sell the house as an investment but she wanted to keep the house and open up a and b um bed and breakfast so he told her he said well you go ahead keep the house you know, whatever. But it turned out that he lost his clients and now he was out of a job. So he basically went back to the country and they both now started living in the house and all these things was going wrong with the house. Um, and he was trying to fix them and, you know, just did not have the expertise, but he learned as he went. Um, and they just started falling in love with each other. And he proposed to her at the end of the movie and Basically, all of my heart in love is the second part of that movie and where they did buy the B&B &B and, um, not buy it, but they have the B&B &B and, you know, they fixed everything and it's, it's beautiful and now they're getting clients coming in and everything like that. But now he had like the itch to go back to Wall Street and so he went back to Wall Street, but now they were kind of like, you know, time spent apart was kind of like causing a friction between them and, um... You know, she's just like, we don't have time with each other anymore. Like, this is not what we what I signed up for. But eventually, he came to the realization that she's more important. The bed and breakfast is more important. And he quit as that um, high class, high society, you know, Wall Street accountant. And um, now they were running the B&B together. They got married. And them and their goats <laughs> live happily ever after so it was such a cute movie um i'm so inspired when i watch these movies i love romance and i love a romantic flick and i love fall movies guys it's the fall season and i'm so excited about it next to christmas fall is one of my favorite seasons so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope that you would take some time to check out some of these movies um, I hope I've given you guys some good ideas as to what you can watch on Netflix or Hallmark or what have you. And yeah, I hope you're enjoying the fall season so far. So once again, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do so. Also hit that bell down below so that you'll get new notifications. Don't forget to like and share the video and also leave a comment down below because I love to talk to you guys. Don't forget that Jesus is Lord and that Jesus loves you and that I love you too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy fall, guys. Bye.